Hi and welcome to another Tabless Glass and Pouring YouTube video. Today we're looking at these which are using our candy mix and taking a particularly coloured one, pressing everything that's in one portion together and putting it under pressure so you end up with these fantastic looking either draped night lights or little trinket bowls depending on what you want to do with them. And I think this is a great way of ending up with a really beautiful piece using our wonderful candy mix and using the pressed glass technique. So I came up with this other little idea to use our candy um, shop mix. Um, well, they come in these bags of 100 grams except for the rainbow which are in 50. Um, but like just opening one up and literally putting it on a camera shelf like this. And then I'm going to squash them down together. So you can see with the other ones I've sort of arranged them you know, not, you know, totally trying to make it a circle, but in a kind of circular shape. And then I'm just, um, you know, arranging them down. And once I've done this, I will put a kiln shelf on top, squash it down, and then I will um, slump these into little trinket dishes. I'm hoping that enough of the gaps will fill. So let's say, if, like here, I've got quite a lot of um, space in this hole. So I'm going to add a few different marini into that space and they'll all squash down together. Um, same with these, put some marini inside. I'll arrange it together and then we can get it in the kiln and have a look at it before it gets squashed. So these are now ready and so this will go in the kiln on top with the, the freshly kiln washed side on top of the marini and it will go in as per the schedule at the end. So here they are after they've been pressed. I've got a lot of kiln wash on them, so I'm going to need to give them a, a clean up. Now, I have a sandblaster, so I'll do it with that. But if you don't have a sandblaster, you just need to soak them in a vinegar and water solution and give them a really good clean from there. So here they are, nicely sandblasted, and I've just given them a wash. I've kept them wet so you can really see the colours on them, which I think are amazing. Um, look at that purple one. That's just completely beautiful. It's like a cosmic vortex. Um, so my options now are either to put it in a slumping mould like this and slump it and then it could be a little trinket dish or I can get some fibre paper, use this as baking, stainless steel bakeware, must be stainless steel otherwise it will deteriorate in the kiln, put a bit of fibre paper and drape it over the top and it could be a tea light. So I'm going to decide what I'm going to do with which and I'll get them set up in the kiln and then show you how they look in there. So here's my setup in the kiln. I'm doing two draping and two slumping. Now you shouldn't really do draping and slumping together. Um, I'm probably going to have to go hotter for the draping and slumping so I will probably take out and do them in separate and probably in my smaller kilns but I just wanted to show you how they would be set up. I put these on a bit of kiln post because I thought that the pots weren't going to be quite big enough to drape over. So you need to take that into consideration. And I've also put a spirit level on to check that the levels are flat before I do my slumping. Because if the levels aren't flat in your kiln, your um, glass may not slump even in your moulds. So here they are out of the kiln. I really like how they've come out. I decided to slump two and drape two. Um, I did actually did this on one firing schedule and I think the draped ones, I was a bit worried that they wouldn't drape enough because it wouldn't get hot enough. Um, but actually it worked fine. I think these two I'd probably use as um, night light holders with a little candle in, whereas these two could be trinket dishes. Now this one, because it's got the kind of half circle um, bottom to it without a steady bottom area like that one does, it does wobble quite a lot. So I will put some bumpers. You can get these, they're called bumpers on places like um, Amazon or eBay. And just putting some over there will give a steady bottom. You sometimes have to move them around a bit till you find the kind of where it sits. So right now it's not sitting where I want and until I move them around I'll get the right thing to give it a nice steady bottom. The last thing I want to say about this is you've really got to make sure your kiln shelf has a nice fresh layer of kiln wash on it. Both the bottom one even though you're using thin fire and the top one. Because of the pressure and because some of the marini can be a bit sharp it's better to be safe than sorry and I personally like to put a really, really good layer of it because these are, um, are being pressed quite thin, they're, which is what I like about them. There's an elegant thinness to the glass, which means you have a really light 
um, feeding piece rather than a chunky heavy piece. Um, so I really hope you've liked this video. We have lots of our candy mix available on sale at the moment. We updated our stock the other day and it means you've got lots of different colours you can try these out in and I hope you'll give them a go. And if you've liked this video, please subscribe.